Canada is condemning a Chinese court ruling that upholds a death sentence for a Canadian man. We have the latest developments happening overnight in the case of Robert Schellenberg. There's also news this morning about another Canadian in a Chinese prison, Michael Spavor. We'll begin with Robert Schellenberg and his backstory. These are the last images we have of him. The pictures are taken from Chinese state TV in 2019 and show Schellenberg on trial for a second time in the same drug trafficking case. That retrial came just weeks after Canada's arrest of Meng Wanzhou set off the ongoing diplomatic dispute with China. Schellenberg was found guilty again and then sentenced to death. In a ruling handed down late last night, a Chinese court rejected his appeal and upheld Schellenberg's death sentence. At a news conference in Beijing overnight, Canada's ambassador to China, Dominic Barton, links the latest Schellenberg ruling to the Hmong case. There's obviously a long ways to go here, but it's by no means done. Uh, and I think this is part of the, uh, the process, if you will, the geopolitical process of what's happening. And we have to stay focused to move forward. So we're not, we're, we're by no means done. Uh, and I will continue to work very hard with our team here uh, to uh, get clemency for Robert. Now, Ambassador Barton adds he doesn't think it's a coincidence that the decision in Schellenberg's case was handed down while Meng is fighting her extradition to the U.S. We also have this statement from Foreign Affairs Minister Mark Garneau. Garneau says, quote, Canada strongly condemns China's decision to uphold the death penalty sentence against Robert Schellenberg. We have repeatedly expressed to China our firm opposition to this cruel and inhumane punishment and will continue to engage with Chinese officials at the highest levels to grant clemency to Mr. Schellenberg. We oppose the death penalty in all cases and condemn the arbitrary nature of Mr. Schellenberg's sentence. Patrick Falk is in Beijing and has more on this verdict in the Schellenberg case. Yeah, well, this was a verdict appeal after Schellenberg, as you say, was previously sentenced to 15 years in prison. That verdict was overturned and he was re-sentenced to death in May 2019. The High People's Court of Liaoning said considering the nature of the crime uh, and the circumstances and also considering the harm to society, that the conviction was accurate and the sentence was appropriate. Uh, Canada has said that... Uh, it is. It strongly condemns that sentence uh, because of uh, the arbitrary nature of the resentencing. What happened isn't in doubt here. Robert Schellenberg uh, was found guilty of trafficking more than 200 kilograms of methamphetamine. Uh, but again, as you mentioned a moment ago, uh, Canada says it's against the death sentence. It says it's cruel and inhumane. But this doesn't all end right here. The verdict now gets sent to China's Supreme Court for review. And uh, um, the Canadian ambassador uh, Dominic Barton said that Canada would continue to fight for clemency. But when that review takes place, isn't clear. There's no set timeline in China under the system here. And Patrick, we heard from Canadian officials off the top. Do we know more about reaction to this ruling from Robert Schellenberg and his family? Yeah, well, Ambassador Barton said that Robert Schellenberg himself was remarkably calm throughout the post process. We know that we, he did talk to him uh, after the verdict, uh, and he spoke to us in a media briefing. He said that he would be speaking to him again after that as well, but he couldn't tell us too much about uh, what they spoke about because of privacy concerns, he said. Uh, so we don't know anything about the mental or physical condition of Robert Schellenberg, but we also uh, received a statement from a family friend of the Schellenbergs who said that she was authorized to speak on behalf of the family and release this media statement. Uh, she said that our thoughts and prayers continue to be with Bob. Uh, we remain hopeful that the di diplomatic efforts between Canada and China will bring about the best possible outcome for Bob and that the Canadian government's request for clemency for him will be honored. She also said that the family couldn't talk uh, right now because of the diplomatic efforts that are ongoing. And we're also expecting that verdict tomorrow for Michael Spavor, another case, as we know, at the center of this diplomatic dispute between Canada and China. What can you tell us about that court decision? 
Yeah, well, that's exactly what it's all about, really. And uh, as we heard a moment ago, Ambassador Barton said that he didn't think it was any coincidence that this was taking place right now as Meng Wanzhou's uh, extradition hearing enters it fi its final stages. He is on his way to Dandong right now. It's uh, a few hours drive away from Shenyang, where he was earlier today. We don't know that there's a lot of foreign media that's going to be attend attending because of uh, current COVID restrictions here. There's been an uptick in cases and authorities have been advising people, certainly from Beijing, not to leave the city. But inevitably, a lot of people are going to be looking at the verdict tomorrow and scrutinizing what that means exactly. We know that a verdict is expected uh, and people will be reading into what China perhaps wants uh, the way uh, wants of the Canadian court system to deal with Meng Wanzhou's case.